everyone. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Stephanie. I'm a burst ambassador and a dental hygienist. And today we're going to be talking about plaque scores. Now, so many of you that are in the dental field that may be watching this, uh, remember learning how to do this back in dental school or dental hygiene school. But for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, you're wondering, well, what is that? Uh, a plaque score is just a simple percentage score that shows you the total amount of plaque bacteria that's in your mouth. So uh, I'm going to show you how to calculate that by using a method called the plaque control record method. And uh, it's really simple, just a little bit of math, you know, not too much because we as dental professionals, we don't like to do a whole lot of math. So, um, but we're going to talk about that today. And if you want to try this at home, you can do this to see how well your child is brushing. You can use this to see how well you are brushing. One of the things that we use in this test is disclosing solution. It comes in a liquid form or tablet form, and this is the tablet. I like to use the tablet, it's chewable. I think it's just easier to use, but um, uh, you use what uh, you prefer. What you're gonna do is, I did my test in a 24 hour period. So because of uh, building plaque. I wanted to uh, see how much plaque I was building in a 24 hour period. So I didn't brush for 24 hours, which yeah, it's kind of yuck. But uh, so you might want to do that on a weekend if you, if you choose to do it. But um, so go 24 hours without brushing or flossing. And then you are going to use your disclosing solution. Chew this up. You're going to switch this around for one minute and use it all over the surfaces. Use your tongue, swish that around, make sure it gets all over the surfaces of your teeth. And then you're going to spit that out and rinse. After that, you're going to see the plaque that is on your teeth is going to be stained a pinkish purple. So the surfaces we're looking for is next to the gum line. So in this method, we use the four surfaces and they are mesial, distal, lingual, and buccal. And for those of you who don't know what those are, the cheek side uh, surface is buccal, the tongue side of your uh, teeth, that's lingual, and then where the floss goes on towards the uh, front of the tooth is mesial, towards the back of the tooth, in between is distal. So we're going to use those four surfaces to calculate our score. And now, using a tooth chart, if you want, you can print one out and mark a red line next to those surfaces where you see the stained plaque. Uh, add those together. So with mine that I did, so I have 28 teeth and I don't have my wisdom teeth, so I have 28. So 28 times four, see, here's the math. 28 times four is 112 surfaces. So I'm gonna take those 112 available surfaces and then look at how many stained surfaces I have. So now I'm going to record the stained surfaces of those gum line areas of those four surfaces, and I'm going to write those down. And so when I did mine, I had 89 surfaces that were stained uh, with the solution and so you do want to you're going to have close to 100 percent okay so don't let that freak you out that is that is the baseline of where where you're wanting to be is a little bit more towards that hundred uh, percent that you're building up that plaque so you're going to write that down so 89 is what I had so 89 out of 112 so you're going to divide that divide 89 by 112 for our example and then you're going to get 79 so 0.79, move your decimal over, 79%. So my baseline was 79% uh, of having the total amount of plaque in my mouth, which yuck, you know, it's kind of high. But um, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to brush. We're gonna use whatever brush we have in our bathroom. I prefer my Versonic toothbrush. Uh, use whatever you have and brush for two minutes because that's how long you're supposed to brush. And then after that, record the surfaces that are still showing the pink uh, at the gum line, record those. And at that time, I had 11 surfaces divided by 112 av available surfaces. And then, so that was 9.8%. So that's really great to go from 79% 
down to 9.8%, which you do at least want to try to be in that 10% range. So that's really good. Uh, and this is what you can do to show that, that difference and to show what your plaque score may be. This is a great tool to use with kids, even just to have them chew that up and show all the plaque that's on their teeth, uh, maybe even after they brush at night to show what's still there and like, hey, you're really not brushing as well as you say you are or think you are. Uh, but this is a really great tool to educate your patients with. But not only that, you can use it yourself to test out your own flossing and brushing techniques to see how well you're doing. And I hope this helped you. I hope maybe you learned something new uh, and that you can use this to help you with your oral hygiene. This is what it's meant to do to help you brush better and to help your kids and everyone just have a healthier mouth, healthier teeth, healthier gums. So you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.